here is the second part of our June Messy Church. Um, so it's the third one in lockdown. And we are talking about kindness and the Good Samaritan, which is a fabulous story, I think. I think it's a really, really good story because it talks about how people can be kind no matter their differences. Even though the Samaritan and the Jewish man were taught not to be kind to each other. The Samaritan was still kind and it didn't matter about the colour of his skin or his religion or his race or where he'd come from or what shoe size he wore or what colour hat he had. It didn't matter because they were just being nice to each other. Well, the Samaritan was being nice. The Jewish guy was unconscious, unfortunately, because the robbers had battered him. So in the first half, we've, uh, we've talked about um, our Samaritan kit what is in our Samaritan kit, how we can choose to help and spend time with people and have a listening ear and lend a hand, share a hug. And then we've got our lovely hearts. Uh, this is the one that my beautiful little helper has helped me do today, uh, a few minutes ago. So the next bit we're going to do, let's have a think. We'll go over the story again, shall we? Okay. We shall go over the story. I'm going to do a slightly different version from this Bible story. This is our first Bible stories, which is, they're great stories. And they have such lovely pictures and things, see? Really awesome book. Um, and it's a good way to sort of get into to the stories. I'm going to go to a little bit deeper this time. Just a little bit with some, with some props. So a man was walking down the road. And he was a Jewish man. And he was attacked by robbers. Ah! And they him and they stabbed him and they were really mean to him. A holy man walked past and he said, oh no, I will look. And he kept walking. And then a clever man walked past and he said, oh no, nothing to do with me. He kept going. But then a Samaritan came past and he stopped and he said, oh, my brother, you are injured, I need to help you. You are my fellow human being. And he stopped. That was the most important thing in this story. He stopped. He took the man. He washed his wounds. He dried his wounds. He took a towel and dried him. He applied ointment to the man's skin. And he bandaged the man so his wounds would heal. He even gave the man his clothes. Because he was covered in blood and he needed new things and he gave the man his clothes. He took him on his donkey and he went to the nearest inn which is a pub, a bed and breakfast, I suppose. And he said to the innkeeper, this man has been beaten. This man has been close to death. I have bathed his wounds with water. I have applied ointment. And I have bandaged him. I want you to look after him. Will you do that for me? And the, and the innkeeper said, yes, I'll look after him. So the Samaritan gave the innkeeper money. He said, here is some money to look after the man. If you find that it costs you more than I have given you, when I come back, let me know and I will give you more money. And that's what the innkeeper did. He took the man, he nursed him. And when the Samaritan came back, I should imagine, he gave him an update on how he was doing. Now, that's a lot of things to do for a stranger, isn't it? Because he didn't know the Jewish man that had been attacked or beaten. He didn't know him at all. Could have been anybody. Um, but he helped. He had those helping hands. Like this one up here. Lend a hand to somebody that needs help. So one of the things that we can do is we can draw some hands. And this one is really good for the smaller children. Now, you can get as messy as you want, because if you wanted to, you could paint your hands and then make handprints. Like that. I'm not going to do that. Um, 
because I haven't got time to wash my hands between doing stuff. Otherwise I would, because, you know, when we're at Messy Church, I love getting messy. So I would do a nice big handprint, a big squishy painted handprint. But instead, I'm just going to draw around my hands. Would you like to draw around your hands as well, please? Okay. Grab a pen. Okay, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to grab a big black pen. I'll put my hand in the middle and I'm going to draw, I'm going to trace around my hand. Whee! Around my fingers, that's three fingers, my pointy finger, my thumb, and then around my wrist. There we go. Oh, look at that. I have big hands. I don't think my hands are that big, actually. I think they just... Yeah, no, they're not quite that big. Are they? And what you could do is now we've got our hand is draw lots of them. Ta-da! That's a brilliant hand. And this is going to be your voucher book for your grown-ups. Oh, yeah. So... I am going to, oops, drop the lid off my pen, never mind. So now I've got my hand and I put some other paper behind it. I'm going to cut out my hand, my helping hand. And again, I'm only doing this really quickly. I know you guys can do it a lot neater. Now your hands are smaller than mine, so you could fold some paper up and you could use... Um, one piece of paper for two hands. I can't do that because my hand won't fit because it's just fat. So I have fat hands. I'll try. Okay. I'm not, don't think it will work. Okay, think first thing you need to do is fold your paper over, darling. Okay. That's it. Oh, no, by the way. One moment. I'm having a paper crisis. Right. Okay, put my hand in the middle there. Right, and then draw around that. Excellent. Right. Oh, look, there you go, look, I'm coming. You can see my fingers are appearing now. Hello to those lovely people watching. So I'm cutting around my fingers. That's my fourth finger and my little finger. So remember, if you're little if, and you want to do hand prints that in, in paint, the then please do. Because we, you know, it's messy church, and if you want to get painty, get painty. Um, I'm just trying to be a bit tidier. So look, I've got my hands. Right, what did you say, sweetheart? That's lovely. Right, do you think you can cut them out? Do you manage to do that? So now I've got, actually, I've got three hands because I cut them out. You could do more. And these are going to be our vouchers. So on the front, I'm going to write. So you do it when it's fun. Yes. Helping hand voucher. Vouchers. Because it's plural, isn't it? Okay. Helping hand vouchers. So what do you think we're going to do with these hands? We're going to make a booklet out of them. Now, I've only got, I've only got a couple in mine. But if you do it, you can have a lot more. And these could be, do you know what, actually, this could be a really good Father's Day present. Uh-huh. Because in each one of these separate hands, I want you to write something you can do to help somebody in your house or your neighbourhood or your friends, whatever. So, for example... You could say tell the word about we could do, but this is um, at the moment we're just doing about kindness at the minute, sweetheart. So this one I'm going to put put the bin out. There we go. Put the bin out. So it could be that you put these together in your voucher book and you give this to your dad or your mum or whoever, um. and then one day they're they're like oh what's going to put the bin out and I really don't want to but they've got your voucher book so they can take your voucher like that and they say oh, I am trading in my voucher you need to go and put the bin out for me what else can we do washing up I need to do it again because I've just gone off that instead 
Washing up. Okay. I'll let, tell you what, we'll make ours later. Okay? Don't do it now, we'll do it later. So we've got put the bin out and do the washing up. Wow, you could have so many different things. You could have take the dog out. Um, read a bedtime story to your little brother or sister. You could say, I'll make a cup of tea. Or I'll do the hoovering. Or the dusting. Anything like that. So there's so many different things you could do. And put them into a little book. And you can staple them together. Like a voucher book. And then when somebody wants you to do something, they take one off. And they go, there you go. Put the bin. I've put but the bin out. <gasps> put the bin out. I'm so embarrassed. I apologise, teachers watching. There we go. Put the bin out. And that's our helping hand. So the last thing we're going to do today is we're going to do our kindness bucket. Thank you, sweetheart. Okay, so this is one I prepared earlier because it's backwards. So I did all the writing so you could read it. And this is my kindness bucket. It's just a picture of a bucket. That's all it is. Dead easy to show. And I've written kindness bucket next to it. Okay, so what we're going to do with our kindness bucket. I've also made some paper and all I've done is I've taken some normal white paper and I've drawn squares on it and then I've decorated it just a little bit. So I'm just giving it a bit of an edge. And then I'll cut them out. Did easy. And this isn't something that you have to do in one go. This is something that can be done over a week. And last week, my little girl, her homework for P-S-C-H-E, or whatever the letters are, had to write a kindness diary. And this kind of gave me the idea. And she had to do one good thing every day. And then she had to write about it. So at the end of the week, she had seven days where she'd done good things. And this is very much like our kindness bucket. So... We've now cut up all our little squares, and I've got I've got quite a few here. Look, say, these are squares, and these are all blank at the moment. They're waiting for good deeds to go on them. Okay, so I did write some out later, earlier, later, earlier. Oh dear, it's been a long day. And I've got my good old glue stick. If if you don't want to do that, you could use post-it notes, couldn't you? For example, so. The first one we've got is shared my toys. I didn't share my toys, but you maybe you've shared your toys. Maybe you've got a brother and sister that wanted your toys and you didn't want them to have your toys, but you shared them anyway. Shared my toys. Okay. I'm just gonna all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna glue it. And when you fill a bucket up, do you start at the top or the bottom? Where the, do bottom. They, the bottom, yeah, because if you put water into a bucket, it always fills the bottom up first, doesn't it? So I'm going to put my shared my toys in the bottom of my bucket. You'd have to have like be on the moon for it to do that. Yeah, gravity. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. What so look, I've now got my first thing in my bucket. Ooh. All right, what else have I got here? Ooh. Open the door. Maybe you've been shopping. And there was somebody coming the other way and you were doing that thing where, oh, after you, after you, and you open the door for them. So that would be a kind thing to do. Open a door for a stranger. Doesn't seem like a really big thing, does it, opening the door? But for some people it's really important. It might be that somebody was struggling because of um, their age or they had a disability. Maybe they just didn't know that the door opened inwards or outwards and they were trying to do it the wrong way around. Oh, now... This one. I think this one's for all the mums, dads, grown-ups and teachers. Help with homework. Who's been homeschooling? But this is also for you that's been helping your brothers and your sisters with your with their homework. Because homework's hard, isn't it? Some especially maths, wow. Oh maths or what have we been doing? We've been doing fractions and we've been doing time <clears throat> timelines something else I can't remember now so I'm going to stick helping with homework I'm going to put that in my bucket oh look it's, do you know what 
starting to fill up. I wonder what else we could put in a bucket. Oh, help with shopping. We've talked about shopping, didn't we? So this one says, help with shopping. Now, I know that some children don't like going shopping at all. It's like, oh, do I do that? Especially food shopping. Oh, food shopping. We need to go food shopping. If we didn't go food shopping, we wouldn't be able to eat, would we? We'd be hungry. But it's so boring, I know, right? I don't like going food shopping either. Oh, oh no, this one's a good one. Phone someone. <clears throat> Might be. Excuse me. <clears throat> I haven't got the virus. It's just <clears throat> croggy throat. I had a phone call this morning. And it surprised me. And it was so lovely. And some, one of the ladies from church telephoned me and said, Hello, Beth. How are you? I was like, well, thank you for it because I didn't think that, you know, why would they think about me? But they did, and they telephoned me, and it was so nice. And we had to catch up and a chat, and it was really sweet to talk to them. And I asked them if they were all right, and they asked me if I was all right. And then we just chatted in general. So there we go. Look, our bucket is starting to fill up. I wonder if we can make it overflow. Oh, if you've got an overflowing bucket, fab. So we've got all these different things. What else have we got? Have we done? Oh, look, this one. Pick up litter. Pick up litter. Do you know, all this... When we had that lovely weather, lots of people put rubbish everywhere. And it was awful. If every single person where you live picks up one piece of litter a day, there'd be no litter. Did you know that? It's true. Doesn't take much, does it? Or put your own litter in the bin, which is even better. Please put your litter in the bin. Right, and then put that in my bucket. Pick up litter. Okay. Oh, look, it's definitely filling up now. But the idea is, you get to do your own little squares. So, you find a piece of paper, and you write down what you've done that's kind. Don't make stuff up. Actually, do something that's kind. <clears throat> Excuse me. So I'll have to get a drink, I think. So I'm very sorry about this. Too much chitter chattering. I like this one. Smile at a stranger. Sometimes when we're out, people do look, if they're on their own, sometimes they look awfully sad. And if you just smile at them, they smile back. It's contagious smiling. We've learned that in brownies, haven't we? It's one of those things you can't help but do. If somebody smiles at you, smile back. And then they'll smile at somebody else. And then they'll smile. And then everybody will be smiling. Brilliant. It's a little bit like the, um, the pay it forward thing that we did on Sunday, in Sunday school, if you saw that. So my bucket is filling up now. It's getting there. Now, I wonder what things you've got that you can do. So what have we done? Have we done anything today that was kind? Can you think of anything? We have been doing this because that's kind. Yeah, we did Messy Church. We put Messy Church down then. Messy Church. Been talking to our neighbours. We have. So I'm going to put Messy Church on there. This one's, but this one's the right way around though, so this is where it goes wrong, you see now. Um, we spent time with our, we spoke to our neighbours. Spoke to neighbours. Okay. We, uh, Oh, I know what we did do. We went to the shop. One of our other neighbours asked if we could get some bird food. So we did. Because we were out. So we got some bird food. Got bird food. And the thing is, that was a kind thing for us to do, to get their bird food. And it was no no difference, because we were going to the shop anyway, so it didn't matter if we got their bird food. It was, it was no big deal, was it? And then they get to feed the birds, which is kind to the birds. So everybody wins. Right, so I'm going to put that in the bucket as well. Get bird food, right. <clears throat> we went to see, we went to, took some stuff to our friend, didn't we? In the old people's home. Yeah. She had some. Now, this is, <clears throat> see, kindness spreads. Our neighbour, she, um, she's currently being looked after in a home. And our mm. other neighbour asked me about how she was doing. So I said, oh yeah, she's doing all right, thank you very much. And she says, would she like some magazines? 
And I said, well, she, I'm sure she would because she gets quite bored. She'd love some magazines. So she bought me these magazines, a big bag of them. And she says, now, with all this virus thing, I've wiped all the magazines down and they've been sat for a whole weekend. So I know they're clean. And she gave me the magazines. And then I've taken the magazines to the home where she's living. She'll read, and then I know that she will share those magazines. So lots of people in a kindness row. Kindness spreads. So I'm going to put mags here. That's short for magazines. But isn't it great how kindness actually travels and grows? And it just gets bigger and bigger and bigger. So there's a very good film that when you're old enough to watch, and it's called Pay It Forward, some of the grown-ups might have seen it. It's very good. What else did we do in the house today? We, um... Now this one's for the mums and dads. It might be that when you're driving, you've let somebody go before you, out of a junction. And you drive with manners. Can you, you have a keep thinking? Because um, I can't, I mean, I've only just passed my test in January. Smiled at somebody. Did I've got that one down already. Um, and I get ever so frustrated when people are rude drivers. Because when I, you know, I'm still thinking about how I learned to drive, and I learned to drive to be a polite driver. Whoa! Look at my kindness bucket. It's almost to the top. Can you see that? Goodness me! What else have we done that's kind? Can you really think? Talk to Jesus. We did talk to Jesus. Is that kind for us or him? It's probably kind for us, isn't it? I don't know. What do you think? It. You helped me with the cleaning, didn't you? Yeah. Yeah. What about cleaning. I did one of the pillows for you. You did, you helped me make my bed, thank you. Because we stripped the bed off today. And um, it's always a chore putting it back together. Make bed. A strip bed. Strip bed. Oh my goodness me, look at that. We've got to the point now. Where our bucket is now officially overflowing. Look, see, the kindness is now coming out of the bucket. Now, if everybody had a bucket like that, how kind would the world be? Now, I'm not saying by a long shot that we are the kindest people around because we're not, we have faults, many, many faults. But all we want to do is talk about spreading kindness and being kind to each other. And, and going back to the reason that we did this in the first place, really, is that there's so many people all across the world at the moment who are so sad. And they've been sad because of things that have happened. And then they get angry and then they get sad. And because they've got angry, it makes other people angry. Um, and then sometimes things get damaged, like lots of shops in America have been damaged. And some of our, our statues in our parks and our cities have been damaged. And then that makes other people angry. So being angry works in the same way as being kind. If you're kind, <clears throat> somebody else might be kind. If you're angry, somebody else might be angry. And it keeps going. So it's far better to have a kindness bucket rather than an angry bucket, I think. What do you think? Yeah. Yeah. Mm. <clears throat> so I hope that you have enjoyed our message church today and I would really hope that we could see some pictures of your kindness buckets and your hearts and your Samaritan boxes if you make your own Samaritan box please uh, thank you very much and your helping hand vouchers because that's being kind as well isn't it giving vouchers to your family and saying that you help you So, we're going to end with a prayer. Okay, hands together. Good girl. Lord God, thank you so much for being with us today for Messy Church. Thank you for your stories. Thank you for sending your son Jesus, who can tell us more stories, the parables. Thank you for helping us to understand what they mean. And the fact that they don't just, you know, work for hundreds of years ago. They're still very, very relevant right now. 
help more people understand about the Good Samaritan and how we can be kind to each other, even in 2020. Help everybody to, to calm down and not be angry anymore. And the politicians to do the right thing and that everybody can love each other and love their neighbour, just as Jesus taught us. Amen. Amen. Well, thank you very much for joining us and I hope that you've enjoyed it. I'm going to guess that next month we're going to still be doing Messy Church online, which is an awful shame. But we have to be safe because the COVID virus is still there. Um, and I know some of you have gone back to school, some of the teachers have gone back to school, and some of the children have, and some of the children haven't. My little girl hasn't, you haven't gone back yet, have you? Mm -mm. And it doesn't look like she's going to go back until at least September. So if you're doing homeschool, work hard. If you're going to school, school, work hard. Have fun, be safe, and I would be lovely if you could join us again on Sunday for Sunday school. All right, take care, everybody. Bye.